Welcome back to Channel Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from Average Man Unplugged. Ladies of TikTok want this man banned for his soft guy era. Drizzle, drizzle. Click subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Ask that channel. It's Channel Time. 60 hours a week. 60 hours a week? And how many hours do you work at home? The same. More. All day, all night. Really? And then you woke up and realized you were dreaming, you mean? <laughs> gotcha, bitch. <laughs> This is the part that pisses me off the most. We asked these women if they will want these men who make $40,000 and they say no. Then these are the same women that turn around and say, I make my own money. I don't need your money. So if you don't need my money, why does it matter that I make $40,000 a year? Correct. Uh -huh. Hello. If you don't need my money, you can get your hair, your nails done, all this. You know how to then why does the money matter then? Because you already got it. It's because I want to spend Rez money. <laughs> you don't find that suspicious? That's exactly. You it. don't find that suspicious? Bro, <laughs> these women are really mad, bro. Hey, it's national news. Do you see? Well, actually, Fox ain't news. is really entertainment. <laughs> but still, you get what I'm talking about? Bro, the so drizzle, drizzle. Good job, fellas. Good job. Hold the line. Get your sandwiches. Don't settle for less. No more free validation, you did. Drizzle, drizzle. Hold the line, fellas. It's, yeah, it's official, bro. They listening and they mad. <laughs> Ladies that understand, hey, shout out to y'all. Shout out to y'all. But the rest of y'all fall in line and get left behind. Drizzle, drizzle. Correct. It's right there. Soft guys are not expensive to take care of. Like, I don't have any problem paying all the bills and taking care of you the problem that i have with these soft men is that they won't submit mm -hmm. they won't listen sister i agree listen fellas when you're in your soft guy era you just have to submit we are not expensive all we need is a haircut we can clip our own nails things of that nature we're good hook the game up play the game all day talk to the guys on the game on the mic we're good we'll eat microwavable food all day it does not matter True. We are cheaper to take care of. So all you have to do is submit to your wife. It's, that's, that's all you got to do. You have nothing to worry about. I wouldn't suggest this part. <laughs> Our male maintenance is not expensive. Our male maintenance is maybe $200 max True. compared to a woman's. It's actually cheap. So when you're in your soft guy era, as long as she's not telling you to do anything that'll risk your life or go against your morals, submit. It's not hard. Okay, I can, as long as it's not going against my morals or going against my um, principles, then yes, I, I, I'm willing to submit in a sense if someone's taking care of all my bills. How hard would it be <laughs> to live bill free and just to clean up if she's respecting you and not making you feel like a slave? But the only thing is I, I have a push against this is you should always have your own place. You should always have your own things as men because you need something to fall back on. If something was to ever happen between you and her. You, have, you need your own places. Then you're good. Just submit. It'll be the easiest soft life you ever live. Wait a minute. Who are you? <laughs> damn, my brother. The way y'all just broke that down, y'all might actually be on to something. I never really thought about it that way. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Drizzle, drizzle. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So, I was strolling on TikTok as usual, and I came across a clip of somebody who supports the soft guy era drizzle, drizzle movement. And um, he goes by Drizzle of Drizzard of Oz, I think um the white guy that's a millionaire and the reason why i enjoy his videos the most is because he's successful very successful so women can't really like <laughs> especially him in particular women can't sit over here and combat him and they can't really argue with him in the comments true so i mean those eight hundred thousand dollar geodes that's expensive shit what these women decided to do is try to report all of his videos. Ah, uh, women. So for y'all that don't you know, don't know who he is, let me. I'm gonna show you a clip of one of his like drizzle drizzle videos, and then I'm gonna show you the clip 
of him talking about the women that tried to get him banned only for them to fail. Check this out. Women have said for hundreds of years that men age like a fine wine. Well, baby girl, fine wines are expensive. Drizzle, drizzle. Get ready to spend. If you can't give me your flyer miles to take me somewhere that I haven't been yet, which is 24 countries, then it just shows me that you don't value fine wine. Drizzle, drizzle. It means you've never had it. You've never been good enough to have it. You've never been able to afford it. And if you can't afford a fine wine or never have it, how can I trust you to treat me right like the fine wine that I am? Drizzle, drizzle. It all you makes see, sense. I'm a business owner. I've been around, but I'm in my soft guy era. I need a girl that's doing better than me. I already have 150 properties in Airbnb. I've already made $10 million. I need something new to me. If you don't have 300 properties, four Bugattis, if you don't have a billion in your bank account, then you're not doing better than me. And you can't afford this wine, Tristan. Tristan. You see, I'm educated. I'm cultured. I can cook. I've got gray in my beard. I know my value. Drizzle, Ooh. drizzle. When you make that kind of money. <laughs> yes, look at this. I'm so excited, guys. I didn't think this was gonna work out, but it worked. Let me tell you what happened. These women reported every video and every comment they could get their hands on. It was a deluge. And I had to appeal them all. After the videos got reinstated, I thought that would have been enough. This led to me getting kicked out of the creator rewards program where I wouldn't make money on my videos, which would have costed me like probably $500 like to date over the last like almost 48 hours, right? Dang, he makes like 250 bucks a day? Doing this on TikTok, it's pretty good. And so the videos got reinstated on the appeal, which was good. The comments weren't looked at yet. They were still pending approval. And I still had all these strikes against my account, right? And so they automatically denied my appeal for the creator rewards program because I kind of did it out of order. I didn't get the strikes from the comments removed. So the comments got restored. Everything got restored because, of course, it was all just bogus. And then I pulled some strings since I'm a famous creator from YouTube and TikTok is really just my troll playground. I have some connections and I was able to get them to look at my appeal again. Oh, dang. I didn't know he was a big creator on, t on YouTube. I didn't know this. What I can tell you guys is if you ever get taken off a creator rewards program, make sure that you get all of the content flagged restored first so all of your strikes are gone and then you can get added back in. Women are going to be so no, no, mad no. that they failed. That's awesome. And one thing that I'm learning from this is that it just goes to show you how petty women are. Yes. Because... This is how easy I can get demonetized, you guys. Like, it's just like that. If enough women dislike me enough, they can just report my shit and I will get removed. Easy. It's that easy. That's why I can't do certain things. I gotta stay within guidelines. So when things do get removed, I can prove, oh, I'm still within guidelines. Y'all are sitting over here trying to get a movement like this banned and not seen on TikTok. Yet, you got somebody by the name of Drew Aflalo who has 8 million, I repeat, 8 million followers and she literally man bashes like and i'm not talking critiquing we're literally talking straight man bashing because there is a difference even though women try to act like there's not but yeah. there is she is the epitome of man bashing man and she had the nerve to try to speak on on the soft guy era but the brothers came through, bro, and man, they they went in, bro. They we roasted cooked. her. Check this out. Hey! I'm gonna talk to y'all about something hilarious and also oh, very fun one. and exciting. First things first, though. I've been seeing all the tags about the fucking Soka era fucking bullshit. Oh, girl, if it's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> These fucking men, Jesus fucking Christ. Is it exhaust constantly looking for a woman to blame for why you're so goddamn mediocre in life? Gloria. Yeah, it is weird to listen to a woman cuss so much. Like, I cuss like a sailor outside of YouTube. And like even in my old corporate job, but everybody kind of knew me, and it was just how I was. But hearing women is just such a turn off. Come on, be nice, please. As much as you say you hate men, I don't really think you hate men like you say you do, because you have a man, and you're mm. very successful. So you're living in your soft girl era as well, just like your man is living in his soft guy era because y'all are a team. He's probably successful, and you are as well. So. What I want to say to you is, get your man a hoodie. Why not? <laughs> your boyfriend's in a soft guy era as well. 
I've been seeing all the tags about the fucking soft guy era. Soft guy era. We don't need men anymore, and they're fucking afraid. Fuck these dudes, man! You better have my fucking passion to beat the fuck out of these dudes. I choked the fuck out of the dude because when I left there, you a ball time. So sock his bitch ass in the face. You motherfuckers better be ready to play. I should have I'm seeing all the tags about the fucking soft guy hero fucking bullshit. Oh, girl, if it's not one thing. Shut that weak shit. Oh, bro. <laughs> Drew, you know, I want to give this to you, but I really don't know if you're going to fit it. Hello. So, uh, this is a XL. <laughs> It's an XL. I don't know if you're gonna fit it, like no shade. I don't know if you're gonna fit it, but we want to give you a care package, a soft guy era care package. <laughs> <laughs> this guy just such trolls. You know, There's too much happened. You went on a yabathon instead of running on a marathon. You need to go on a jog. <laughs> but, yeah, we would love to give you a care package. We're gonna give you like. This is an XL. You might need some <laughs> So just DM me your goodie on TikTok or whatever. And we'll just send it to you. Just send us your address. God bless you. We don't like broke bitches. We don't like brown weed. We don't like no snitches. Take the police on high speed. We done with the 90s. Somebody gonna explain this to me. Here go your goat pushing it. Why won't he use his left hand? He just jumped in the air and came down with it. That's I remember when he scored 69 points. That shit was trash too. You gotta just know. What the hold on, what the fuck are you doing? Get out and pump the gas, bro. Okay, but why you no, bro, go, mom, go pump the gas. You looking yeah, at me? Why you go? Why are you raising your voice? I just asked you if you want to go pump the gas. Shut that weak shit up station. and go pump the gas. You want something from the gas station? Some candy. Give me some trolleys and give me um a feed. You got me this okay. weak ass cool water last time. Lower your fucking tone. Why right. you? All right, I, I asked you a simple question. You do not right. have to go off like that. All right, don't be disrespectful. Are you pumping the gas? Can you apologize for the Can you pump the gas? I don't know. This is a skit now. Broke ass bitch. Ah yeah, yeah. Okay, get out. Move back. What do you mean I'm not acting right? Do you see how you were just talking to someone in the car? Okay, this is you your door. Go and pump the gas. What am I gonna, what am I gonna pump gas in your and Nobody asked you to pump the gas. gas nobody asked you to pump the gas. Oh, I was just asking if you wanted some fucking snacks. Of course I didn't want some Okay, and what am I supposed to go off? What do you want? Cause we've been together for two years. I should know that shit. I'm, I'm with the Supreme Knight flag. Two you years. Air Force, they got the Supreme Knight flag. I just asked you to pump And these shit must speak though. You said you wanted them. They beat down. I agree to use the bag. I don't know about you. You broke? No, but I don't. Oh, no, I can't. I'm good at that. I'm good at that. My old girl bought me a fucking high eight. What did you bring to the table? Who I bring to the table? Me. Me. Okay, then stop acting like a Oh, my gosh. Wait, 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 you're not getting no money. Because you want to be all about me telling you what I'm about to say. Bro, she got me up with AMG and I ain't. I'm just throwing money around all around my dick. Damn. I don't know why this cracks me up so much, but it really does. Or if we do this and this and this, it's still trying to get you shit. You better start drop shipping. Just drop shipping. You better start drop shipping. Trading crypto. Yo, I'm weak as hell. Yo, that brother said you better drop. Better learn how to drop shit. Yeah, it's or crypto. Trade crypto or something. <laughs> I mean, yo, clearly that was a skit, you guys. Clearly that was a skit. No, no need to spam it in the comments. But shout out to that sister for being able to stay in character throughout. throughout yeah, it was pretty that, funny. I'm pretty sure that wasn't easy for her. Oh my god, but that was a bit funny to watch to say the least. You say, <laughs> say you got me this weak ass water, you know I like Fiji. <laughs> hey bro, it did call her broke. What she got up <laughs> to Let's continue, man. Oh uh... my god. Rick Ross just dissed Drake and he just showed us that he was in his soft guy era. Check this out. Fellas. Listen, listen up. If the woman you dealing with ain't prepared breakfast for you this week or on this beautiful Saturday morning, if she didn't send over some croquettes, a bagel, a smoothie, 
a side bowl or nothing. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. She's not your woman, fellas. Talk that talk. She your close friend. She your friend. Maybe not even your close friend. But damn, it's Saturday. She ain't said nothing to the house. She ain't suggest nothing. <laughs> she suggested nothing all week. Don't even fuck with her. No more. Cut off. Not only did he tell y'all that, he lived by this word. Mucho gracias. Mucho gracias. Somebody door dashed him some food. Thank you. Somebody sent me some croquettes. I wonder who did it. Somebody did it the same day. In your All right. We're not at Rick Ross's level to where we can just make a video and all of a sudden get a meal sent to us. That's a little bit much, but we understand. <laughs> It would be like to be at that level. Sitting here settling for a bare minimum woman? No, he didn't. Rick Ross is in his soft guy era. You can too. Why are you settling? Why are you coming out of pocket for everything? Why? Why is she not buying you anything? Why is she not cooking you no meals? She don't really want to be your girl. She don't like you like that. 100%. Why are you settling? You sitting here telling me you claiming to be in your soft guy era and your woman don't do nothing for you? That ain't your woman, bro. That ain't your girl or nothing. That ain't your girlfriend. None of that. It's none of that. You claiming to be a soft guy. Fuck out of here. Oh, you know what? Hey, if that's the case, I'm with you on this shit, man. Forget that. If Rick, Rick Ross is a millionaire, if he can get a woman to send him some croquettes, then damn it, it, it should not be hard for the average brother to get a sandwich or a sandwich. A little bit harder, again with the millions of dollars is some clout behind it and some things too but yes every man should be able to get a nice meal and which made for him i'm sorry i yeah i'm with you on after seeing that yeah i now i see why brothers on this let's keep it moving let me show you ladies and gentlemen why the provider protector mentality has been distorted and perverted by modern day women. Check it out. The men who don't give you no money towards your hair and nails are always talking about what you're thinking about getting rid of you, she says. <laughs> now, let's bypass the bad grammar. Clearly, public schools are letting us down, yeah. but I digress. This is why Drizzle Drizzle in the soft guy era movement is blowing up so fast. This is why it's so popular. Because men are starting to realize that no matter what they provide, it will never be enough because some ladies will just keep adding more stuff onto that bill. We're not responsible for paying for your hair, your nails, and your maintenance. Nope. If you are a wife or a fiance, we're responsible for providing housing and food and shelter and water and power and all of those things, the necessities of life. Gluing someone else's hair onto your head is not a necessity. <laughs> Gluing True. nails onto your nails, which God already gave you, is not a necessity. 100%. This is the problem. This is not about provision, gentlemen. This is not about being a provider. This is about being willing to be taken advantage of. Mm. I'm not willing to do that. Nope. But let's be honest, guys. That's the real reason why this trend is starting to grow. I agree with him. There's just a certain level of entitlement that is being per perpetuated throughout social media when it comes to dating standards and women think that they're repelling the men that they don't want no you're just repelling men in general the only man that are going to stick around and deal with that is the type of man that you don't want or the type of man that you would end up walking all over and eventually wouldn't probably want or going to disrespect them or treat them like trash anyway Shout out, Zero. You would think after so many years, women would come into our space and just spy on us and listen to things we say and then be like, oh, I know men now. But they don't care enough to do that. So they just keep failing miserably. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Drizzle, drizzle. Ciao.